It looks like uh, Sam decided to be the first player here. And uh, this is the most powerful opening that these Han Ray decks have, which is a holdout blaster, uh, overwrite, overwritten with a jetpack. And now there's two actions remaining. So first action is to roll out Han, trying to get that two disrupt here. Yeah, I think forgot to put the jetpack die on there. So this is the first action, hoping to get that two disrupt and deny your opponent those resources. Did not get the two disrupt, but gets two dollars instead. Has one action remaining. Uh, Patrick's on the ball there, points it out. Rolls out Ray here. And looks like, oh. Well, there's a disrupt there, <laughs> but uh, unfortunately Patrick, well, fortunately for Patrick, he gets to use his money here. Now he responds with his holdout blaster. He gets an extra action. And Luke's damage uh, doesn't require any resources here, so it's not like he has to wait to gain money in order to deal damage. Uh, <laughs> having a dice tray allows you to do those forceful throws, I guess. And he actually it's like, remembers it's like to, you're rolling as a crap table. <laughs> he actually remembers to use Luke's ability. Yes, uh, something I always forget to do. Yeah. So, Syrian Deathwalker, you say strong controls. Like, I, I've never thought of Luke Hero to have a lot. I guess they do, because they have force misdirection. Uh, so maybe that's uh, one of the reasons why you're choosing to play this combo. I mean, you're limiting yourself to the amount of cards you can play, like no electroshocks and the like. Um, so we see uh, starting the work on, on Skywalker here with yep. his 12 health. That's three damage off. Uh, Patrick didn't get a very good roll here, unfortunately. So he's going to have to either discard to reroll, which uh, it looks like he's going to discard this use the force to do that, uh, or use his focus. I would reroll. I would try a reroll first. Okay. Well, this, he's, is, this is just so dangerous because. Well, uh, uh, Sam doesn't have any money, so he had to take the money before he could do any control here. I know. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, like the electroshock. Like he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't have. He doesn't like you. Yeah. So this is uh, this is going to be a damage race on both of the big bruisers. Sam claims the battlefield, puts the holdout blaster on top. So getting that holdout blaster really early is is uh, one of the keys to the success of the Han Ray deck, because now next turn he can overwrite the jetpack with the holdout blaster, and then if he has another two cost or more upgrade, I see the DL44 blaster. She can he can then put the holdout blaster into the graveyard by overwriting it with whatever he has in his hand. And there's another copy of Holdout Blaster. Now this is going to get sick, because you can basically overwrite the Holdout Blaster with the other Holdout Blaster, get a bunch of actions. Uh, this is might might be what we're seeing here. So, uh, doesn't overwrite the jetpack. No, he had four resources, he had a lot to work with. Yep. Uh, now are we going to see him... Oh, just roll out Han. Just wants that disrupt. Yeah. Uh, doesn't, doesn't get it. it. But that is a three... No, two damage side. Showing on Hans Dider. And gets uses his last extra action to overwrite the holdout blaster. Now gets two more actions. Rolls out Ray. Now see if he can make something happen here. It looks like a two damage side on that holdout blaster. Uh, so that's gonna be four damage at Luke if he chooses to resolve it right now. Oh, I see a disarm in, in Sam's hand, so he might be pondering that too, to get rid of that holdout blaster. So I think Sam's just deciding whether he wants to pile on damage. No, looks like a discard to reroll. Oh, so really? uh, doesn't consider the. Hoping that he can take Luke down. Yeah. So now we see a total of four, five, six. I think it is. We've got one uh, melee as well. Oh, okay. Oh, mind trick. Nice. So one of the dangers of rolling out all your dice like that is that you can fall victim to this card. So it allows um, it allows Sam, the opponent, to separate his dice into two piles. And those two piles can be however many dice. You can even have one pile of zero if you want. But then Patrick gets to choose one of those piles and remove those dice. 
So when you when you have a bunch of damage showing like that, it's uh, it's really awkward. Uh, so now Sam's kind of fig trying to figure out, well, do I really care about doing that much damage this turn, or can I just do I just want to have more dice so I can reroll and try to get a better result here? Because Patrick did have to use all his resources here to play that mind trick which uh, obviously is probably going to prevent him from playing an additional upgrade that isn't overriding the uh, holdout blast. So Patrick decides that he's willing to weather the damage here and decides to remove those four dice instead. Well, I mean, he could just roll here, spend his whole turn trying to get enough damage to kill. Well, he needs another eight on Han, so maybe that's a bit yeah. too much. I mean, you could do six with uh, Luke. Uh, draws a card here after the activation. I see one with the force, but of course he can't play that right now because he doesn't have any resources. Uh, that might be something you want to try to save up for on Luke because you know Luke's being targeted. So this is overriding the holdout blaster with the DL44, uh, forcing Patrick to remove one of his dice. Uh, now, yes, it's just removing a blank, but because Luke's dice are really good, and you know Patrick's going to probably spend the rest of his turn re-rolling because Sam has no dice left to resolve. Uh, this is a good opportunity to play that blaster out. Ray rolls out here. Looks like two damage for a resource and a one melee side. Uh, again, not that great. Plus all those ambush cards that uh, Sam played this turn piled on three shields onto Han. Yep, you take those shields off, but they're going to come right back. Yeah. So I guess it's up to Patrick whether or not he wants to kind of just discard to reroll because he can't spend the money to deal two damage. Uh, he has one resource. Uh, on oh the yeah, that's true. I think he's trying to figure out whether or not it's worth rerolling the holdout blaster here. Uh, of course, if he rolls the other two dice, then he no longer has access to that two damage if uh, a resource doesn't get rerolled on either on either Ray or Luke. The other question is, if he, does he shift focus to, to Ray? Um, you mean, he's got the two holdout blasters now. There's going to be recurring yeah. shields. Yeah. Getting through, getting Han down is going to be a challenge. Yeah, and then neither of those uh, upgrades on Ray currently are redeploy cards. So if you go after Ray, you won't have to worry about those upgrades going on to Han. Discarding a Binds All Things to re-roll. I usually find the Binds All Things, if you're not playing it on turn one, it's almost always a discard. Like, I don't know, it just never feels good to play it like on turn three or later. So it decides not to switch targets here. Instead, just trying to to whittle down Han shields. But, I mean, you know that Sam, Sam claimed the battlefield. Did he claim the battlefield? Yeah. I would, so, that, that was just a waste. Yeah, because you know that Sam's just going to draw that hold up blaster again, so he's just going to get that shield back. But here's a willpower. Um, maybe I just would have done that and just put the damage onto Ray instead. Yeah. Alright, so uh, we know that Sam is drawing a hold up blaster and then decides to deflect is useless. Looks like a lightsaber, an unpredictable, and a Jedi robes in addition to a use of the force, is what Sam drew. Um, I, hmm. Another mind trick for Patrick. I mean, after that mind trick, I mean, it was a huge mind trick, but uh, Patrick wasn't really able to capitalize on that turn. So here is uh, overriding the jetpack for the holdout blaster for free, getting two actions now. Uh, let's see if he tries, no, he tries not to go for the disrupt play again. Instead, opting to try to pile more damage onto uh, Luke with this big Ray reroll, uh, rollout. One more action remaining for Ray, or sorry, for Sam here. <laughs> still live, right? Everybody's quiet. <laughs> Uh, so, two damage onto Luke here. D uh, Luke's sitting on six damage, so he's got six more life left to play with. 
rolling out Luke in response. Remembers to draw the card. I'll say this about Patrick though, like he's uh, he by far is probably out of all the Luke players I've seen is the one that's <laughs> been the person to always remember drawing cards. Use a force here by Sam to turn Luke's melee or whatever that side was showing into a blank. Yeah, you just want to deal with damage here uh, before you get a chance to get controlled again. And rolling out again. Man, Han has not been rolling any damage this game. I mean, all this work is being done by Ray. Uh, Everyone's rolling resources. Yeah. Everybody's getting getting rich. Uh, so yeah, discard to reroll here. I think uh, if Sam gets lucky, he might be able to take out Luke this turn. There's that disrupt side he was fishing for earlier, but it's more more money here. Another willpower? Yeah. So now Han's sitting on six damage. <clears throat> I can't remember. Did uh, did he, Sam forget to put a shield onto? Or no, he. What? Right, right, right. He did put the shield on, but then it got meleeed out. Oh, man. If I would see now, if you were playing blue villain, <laughs> that's the kind of role you want to see. <laughs> Uh, but there is two damage showing and a one melee damage as well. Defensive stance. Two on Luke, probably. Yep. Yeah, I mean, usually against this, uh, against the Ray Han deck, you yeah. wouldn't have the luxury of this much time, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, especially with the opening hand he had with the hold up blaster, jetpack, that sort of thing, right? Like, if. If Ray, or sorry, if Sam had got that two disrupt on the first turn, I think this game. Right. Well, seven damage would be a is lot not bad for that. Yeah. So seven damage. Uh, and an additional one for melee. Yeah, not quite enough to kill Luca this turn. Three, four, five, six, seven. So if if that oh, so does Patrick have two bucks? No. I can't see if he has any money. Patrick has no money. He has no money, so he can't even mind trick here. No, but can't mind trick, can't deflect. Just going to discard to reroll to try to. We need to deal four damage to kill off uh, Han here. So I see one resource on Luke. I see a plus two, and a one melee. So it gives gives Sam the opportunity to like crunch. Crunch Luke with a massive 7 damage swing here. So now Luke is sitting at 10 damage. And 11 damage with that Ray melee side showing on Sam's side here. So one of the advantages of playing Akbar and Luke is that red has quite a bit of damage mitigation in the form of dug in and um, field medic but yeah but as we're seeing here I, I, I think here yeah you might consider clearing the battle uh, to deny that because you know that the hold up blaster is coming out so you know he's going to do damage to loot before anything else happens i don't even think you need the hold up <laughs> i mean I, I, he could draw another DL44 blaster and he do could. the same thing. He could, but he has yeah. to draw into it. Yeah. Um, maybe maybe Patrick thinks if he can kill Han this turn, he's fine with that trade. I guess he could. Yeah, I guess yeah. he still could kill Han. I guess he might as well keep trying. I guess it wouldn't give him that many more dice to yeah. go into the next round. And 11. One, one life left for, for Luke. He used all his willpowers already, so he doesn't have that avenue left to him. And Henry Dex, they do play Repost. Repost, Repost, I don't know how to pronounce that word. The discard is actually meaningful here. Yeah. Now it's tempting to. So deal one. So now Han's at seven. Sam claims here, puts out the holdout blaster, and 
Uh, Patrick, I think, has to just hope for one more turn for Sam to brick on his roll uh, so that he can at least make a trade before Luke dies. Oh. So who, who do you roll out here? You roll out... Do you roll out Ray or do you roll out Han with your extra actions? You roll out Ray. Yeah? You overwrite, so you yeah. have yep. what resources to spend. Yeah. And I see I go. see a damage side, yeah. That's it. So Luke's dead. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. Uh, so now now if Ray can at least kill Han now, um, you know, roll out and then I see a holdout blaster in, in Patrick's yeah. hand. So if he can do at least the same thing back to Han, it may not be that bad. No, Here. I was gonna attack this. It dies, and then I was gonna kite you. Robes and then blaster. Yeah, play the robes for the shield. Overwrite with a blaster. We'll see if he sees that line. Uh, does not see that line. Uh, looks like a plus two. The other red die. Oh man. Not having very much legs. I think, do you just, well, just discard or re-roll now, yeah? Well, he's got to use the force. But yeah, he might as well cry. Yeah, you... Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I agree with you. I would have played use the force there. Because see, now he didn't even... The problem with that is, yeah. like, there is one resource. Electroshock is... That's true. A reasonable possibility you have to account for. So you use, use the force, forcing Sam to have it, the electroshock, and uh, he doesn't have electroshock, but he does have a use the force of his own. <laughs> Discard. Well, the problem with that was going to the one side. Yeah. Um, all he would need to do was have an ambush card, and then he, yeah. he couldn't deal enough damage. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if I saw an unpredictable in his hand. I see a scavenge. I see a another blaster. Is that another blaster? Yeah. yeah. So he, he, so maybe he's just waiting to see if he does roll the damage side, and then he'll just like put the blaster on on Ray and get another shield that way on Han. Uh, so let's see, we got the modifier melee side disrupt, useless disrupt. Yeah, not a great roll. Yeah, but I mean, this is this is what Patrick needs to stay in this game. Uh, this sort of not great luck by Sam. I mean, Sam's still in a great spot, right? I mean, and Patrick has to kill Han just to return to even here. And he only has one card left in his hand uh, to get that damage. And, and the other thing is, like, he needs to roll... He needs to roll a one out of six chance here to get the one damage side, because the two's not going to do it. He does get it. So now... Now we're going to see Sam, I think. If, if that is indeed a blaster in his hand, yeah, there he goes. So he gets the ambush, he gets the extra shield. So now Han can't die here. Um, and he removes, yeah, with a blaster here. And he does get that extra action because of Ray. Now the work starts on Ray. Han takes three damage. Now he's at one damage here. He still, he still had another action to spend. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Discard to re-roll. Oh god. Okay, here's a big roll. Another five. But, but I think he, he does. He does have a resource. Yeah, he has a resource yeah. dice. Oh, okay. Uh, so Han's sitting yeah. at nine damage now. Not exactly right. Yeah. So, yeah. He had eight damage before. Yep. I'm gonna just go. Uh, like him a second. Yeah. See, see, one, one of the things is when you take the two, yeah, you take the two damage off and then you're just like, oh wait, I forgot to put that on. You gotta go fix it, yeah. So, uh, Travis is gonna go and just make sure. No, I think they figured yeah, Did they figure it out? Figure it out? Figure it out? Yeah, there we go. They got it. No intervention necessary. One resource. 
And yeah, there you go. Claim it. Claim it. Because now all the. Fine, he doesn't really have anything good to put there. Yeah, but all the ambush cards are now in Sam's discard pile. Like, he can't even draw them anymore. And he doesn't have an infamous in play, so he can't do any shenanigans right now. I mean, he's still in a bad spot. Patrick's still in a bad spot, no doubt, but um, he at least isn't going to get punked with like a three action activation. But as it is now, uh, Ray only has three health left. Uh, all the willpowers have been used. At least one defensive stance has been used. I see a deflect in uh, Patrick's hand. I see a force protection, which uh, really, if you're playing a force protection at this point in the game, I, I mean, you're just slowing. It's just like it's just a slow bleed. You're not actually winning at that point. So here's an overwrite with one with the force. No force protection. Okay. Uh, I don't think that's probably. That, I don't think that was the best play here. I think I would have rather overwrote the hold up blaster with my one with the force because you have no blank sides. That's fine. Do you need? Uh, do you need the resource for something? No, oh, maybe. Maybe for the hold up blaster damage. Yeah, I'd still use like the yeah. lightsaber. Yeah, this, this, uh, it's not been good. Speaking of one of the force, <laughs> uh, rolling out here. So two resource, uh, two damage. Uh, no, not enough to kill, but it doesn't no. matter really. I mean, if you don't get it with this roll, you'll probably get it with the Han roll. So. And, uh, Sam has all the time in the world. <laughs> he, oh, he can still lose yeah. Han. I think, I think he saved the, the resource because he has a deflect in his hand. So I think he's waiting to maybe kill Han with like a deflect the three damage side. We only need the two damage side to do it. Oh, that's true, yeah. Uh, it is the one time where not rolling damage saved Han here. <laughs> Although, there, there, he, he can deflect the, uh, yeah, the hold up blaster. Yeah, exactly. You're right. Okay. But he doesn't see it. I mean, is he just not seeing it, I guess? Yeah, yeah and I don't, think, I don't think Patrick has played a ton. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, yeah, if anybody in the chat could just tell us the appeal of the Luke Ray deck, like, I'm, I'm sure you guys wanted to see it for a reason. Uh, is there a reason why it's better than, say, uh, Qui-Gon Ray, or...? All right. Patrick concedes.